Hey you two, Retro Starman915 here coming right at you from my game room. As you can see, I've uh, just my shelf full of my boxes that I've so far. My Odyssey 2 box, PS4 box, N64, Nintendo, my Switch that I've added, the Wii U box. So that wall's coming around like nicely. I'll give a game room tour soon, it's gotta tidy up a bit, <laughs> you know how it is. So, I went garage sailing today, this morning, actually, and uh, it's pretty raining. I'm sure you fellow YouTubers know, or any collectors out there know, that during garage sale season, there's some days that will rain, some days that are sunny. This kind of started off as a bad day, um, and I'm going to go through what I have. Alright, enjoy. This is a little random. Um, I'll just go with what stacks I have. So the first one I had uh, found a lot. This is in no particular order. So found a lot with a bunch of games and a PS2 Slim. So here's the Slim. Uh, works great. And I got a bunch of PlayStation 2 games and PS1. So got Major League Baseball 2000 2K5. I believe that's a Jeter. Um, Shrek Super Slam. It's loose. Um, lo long boxes. I'm finding a lot more lately, and I'm starting to think I'm going to collect for this. Uh, this one's called High Octane. And that's complete with the, the manual on the game. But most of these cases are broken, so... Um, I keep a look at them for them. So I got that NBA 2K6, NCAA Football 2010, nothing great. Sports titles, uh, sports baseball 2K9, ATV uh, Out Road Fury 3, ATV Out Road Fury 2, Gran Turismo 3. Greatest Hits, Star Wars the Video Game, Lego Edition, Greatest Hits, and FIFA Soccer 08. That's complete. Up. asked how much they wanted and she said 10 bucks and I'm like 10 bucks is great. So I think that was a really awesome deal. Um, PS2 Slims are worth at least 30 now, so I that was cool. Alright, on to the next bundle. So on my way home, uh, found yard sales on the way from the community sale, which really didn't have that many sales open. Most of them were scared about the rain, but this guy was one of that was open. I got eight 360 games, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. And all of these are complete. Bioshock, Turok, Jericho, Ninja Gaiden 2, Devil May Cry 4, Resident Evil 5, and Lord of the Rings Conquest. So originally he had $5 a piece for the Xbox 360s, and these are really taken really good care of adult owned and I was like well, what's your lowest he said about three bucks a piece so I grabbed about eight games so that's like at three dollars a piece that's 24 bucks I asked him to drop it down to 20 and he agreed so it's a pretty good deal uh, I had I don't have most of these titles so that's why I picked them out so I got that for 20 um, the other sale I went to, so the lady didn't have video games and stuff, but she did have uh, two Xbox 360 Slims, and pretty cool, like, I was like, so how much, um, how much are you asking for them? And she told me, like, I'm just trying to get rid of them, what's, name your offer. And I was like, how about, since you're trying to get rid of them, uh, five bucks for the both of them? And she's like done deal. So I haven't tested them. The Slims have a different AC, or 
cable than the original 360 ones and I have a bunch of the original ones now I just now I need the four gigabyte slim versions so I'd be, I'll be on the lookout for that hopefully these work uh, and I've been I've heard that these don't red ring of death as easily as the original ones so I'm pretty excited about this and uh, really good value for two Xbox 360s put that down a uh, bunch of random games on the way uh, but no one to another house uh, all she had was Game Boy Advance games and um, pretty good one one really good one it's uh, Super Mario Advance 4 Super Mario Bros 3 and that's the other one's Finding Nemo and like Polly Pocket Game Boy Advance uh, got these all for a dollar which is cool, Super Mario Advance is probably 10 bucks. So it was a good deal. Uh, probably close to the beginning of the sale, I got Crazy Golf. I really wasn't finding anything. I got this for like uh, a buck. So that was cool. So this lot of five here, uh, it was cool. She just had Wii games and stuff. This was, again, towards the beginning of the day when it was already raining. Um, and there was not much. So you got Rampage, Total Destruction for the Wii. Loose. America's Army. And she had like five sealed of these. So I was like, I'll, I don't have it. So a dollar sealed. She had like five of them too. And I only needed one. I only got one. Uh, Balls of Fury, I thought this movie was freaking awesome when I saw it, so it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Chicken Shot, see that's, that's complete. And Mercury Meltdown Revolution, uh, I don't really know much about this game. If you could comment below, let me know how it is. So I got these five for a buck a piece. That's... A pretty good deal. I'll take it. I'll take a buck a piece on games any day. Another sale. They only had one game, and that was SpongeBob's Battle Bash. I paid fifty cents for it, so I'm not gonna turn down a fifty cent game unless it's like a sports title. And uh, one of the first sales I went to, uh, they had a bunch of systems, and you know, like I guess I, I don't know. I, it's a garage sale and you know they have their stuff priced already and they had a Super Nintendo lot with three games uh, NES lot just probably the system and um, wires and cords and PlayStation so the Super Nintendo is asking about like 60 bucks and three games weren't that great I mean I could have it could have been a good thing. I was like, so what's the lowest you'd go on each of them? He's like, I can't go lower than 50. They're selling for 80. Well, yeah, I know they're selling for 80, but I don't know. I wouldn't want to take a flyer for 50. And the Super Nintendo was chipped. Yeah. Yeah, I can get those. Um, I wouldn't spend more than 20 bucks. So anyways, they had this game. At Black Ops. I don't know, Black Ops, Black Ops 2. People are still, you know, paying like 10, 15 bucks for them. So, I got this for three bucks, which is pretty cool. I'll take it. I need the wig. Crazy golf. And then another uh, yard sale, as for video games. Um, the, the kid said I, he sold his a few weeks back. He only had this left, and that's um, Super Mario DS 64. He had two bucks on it. I got it for a buck. And uh, they also had a bike. Uh, it was retailed at 150 This Chrome uh, KSR 2600 bike. It's really nice. Uh, you know, had me thinking for a good like 20 minutes. I ended up getting it. Um, ended up paying 75 bucks. It's worth double. So I know I got a good deal there, and it rides really well. And it's Chrome. I don't think I would have gotten a better bike for that much. I'm pretty happy about that. So. Um, 
gonna move on to the next sale. So this was the second biggest find uh, I, I found, you know, uh, I guess towards the end of the first community sale, it was kind of a bust. I headed down back home, I hit the GPS button, and there was a bunch of yard sales on the way. I didn't get on the highway yet, and I'm glad I did, because like my next two scores are pretty huge. Uh, I'll go with the first one. This happened second, but the, the last one I'm saving for the end of the video. Um, so I walked into the sale, and I asked the guy if he has any video games. He's just like, oh, let me go check. So he pulls out a bunch of uh, uh, systems and games. He had a GameCube, he had a Nintendo DS Mini, he had a Game Gear, and a bunch of games. Um, a lot of Wii, a couple GameCube, and N64. And I was like, so how much are you willing to part with any of this stuff? And he's just like, you know what, they're my wife, so I gotta ask her. And so, like, he went to ask her wife. She said she, he, she, he said she wasn't selling and that he'd have to go check with her later. I was kind of pushing a little bit, but I didn't want to be rude or anything like that. So I left my number, um, decided to start walking around um, a bit, ask other people for games. And then the very next house, same story, um, the son was out of town, he had a bunch of Nintendo games and I hope they emailed me back because the mom said she has all the systems and stuff and he's out in college and I left my email, phone number. Uh, I never expect a call back or an email but it'd be cool if there was one. So I walked down a couple more houses and I was going back to my car and this guy, you know, the, the one, the initial one with the girlfriend said, oh, hey, you know, I'd be willing to sell X, Y, and Z, and I'll show you what I got. So I paid, uh, I ended up paying 25 bucks for all this stuff that I'm going to show you. So I got, I got a GameCube. I have like a million of these now, but I just, I don't know, I just like collecting systems. Anyways, GameCube, I got two controllers, all the wires and stuff like that. Um, and I told them I, I'll take the, these are just boxes, uh, with the inserts inside. So Super Mario 64, I just need the card to complete this, and I could just flip that, that'd be awesome. And, uh, 1080, uh, with inserts, I do not own 1080, so, I mean, 1080, like, with the box and inserts, I own the cart, so I'd be able to complete 1080, which is awesome. Um... An original N64 manual that came with the console. I already have one, but it's it's just nice to have these. Um, NASCAR Thunder 2003. I do not own it. It is complete, which is pretty cool. I don't care. I I think I just like want to get as many GameCube games as possible on the cheap. Uh, Super Monkey Ball, the original, and that's the Player's Choice Edition. I do already own this, so. Uh, this would be going on the trading selling block, I suppose. And uh, the gem of the lot, I'm glad you know they were able to sell this one. So this is Zelda, uh, collector's edition promotional disc. Uh, I believe this is the one that came in a bundle, um, because it says not for resale. So it was one of those Nintendo bundles that had this. And it had the original Zelda, A Link to the Past, um, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. It's like one of the better GameCube games to own. That was amazing. It was complete. Disc is immaculate. I actually traded it in with my original one because um, that one had a little scuffs, a few scuffs, so I just traded it for the better one and I'm just going to sell this. So all that for 25 bucks, and this retails at around 35 40 like every day of the week and I will sell. So I think that was a great deal right there. You know what, before I go on the granddaddy snack daddy of what I call my best season score, uh, I had a few other deals this week that I'm just going to show you guys. Uh, I wouldn't say deals. I found a Slim at a flea market for like five bucks. It's just the console only, but I took a flyer and it works, so I just need wires and stuff. So that was cool.
was at a swap meet last week, and I, I was selling a few of my stuff to get ready for garage sale season. Picked up a few things. I got Super Mario 2, just the box. I already had the game manual, uh, and then also, I believe it came with the, the, the styrofoam in it too. So it's pretty awesome to be able to complete my copy. The game, I put my game, my manual in the box already, so that was awesome. And, uh, just, I had a trade with a friend, so I'll give you the logistics of it. I traded, uh, I gave him 60 bucks, uh, two loose NESs, so just the consoles, two of them that I found, uh, randomly. I didn't, did not have power cords and stuff, so I couldn't, you know, I, I have enough controllers and enough wires, but I don't have as many power cords, and those are, like, kind of pricey, so... Just decided to be like, well, let's bundle this and trade. So gave him 60 bucks and two um, NES consoles for Bubble Bobble Part 1. I don't own. And um, one of the games I've, I've been seeking for a, long, for a long time. So I definitely felt like I got a good deal. Mega Man 5 for the NES. So this label is immaculate. Cannot ask for a better label. Um, it's legit. Check the board. And I know my guy wouldn't screw me over, so uh, I would, you know, I, but I need to check as a collector. And you guys need to, too. So make sure you always have your bit if you're gonna, you know, uh, do a trade or buy something that's over 50. Just because you don't want to get screwed over. Like, when an initial one, like, especially eBay sellers, like, you really want to see if they have board picks on. Otherwise, you, you run the risk of getting a fake copy um but this is just immaculate it was a great trade um i had one two three four and six so i just needed five and i completed my nes Mega Man set uh gonna be working on the super nintendo one soon those are a bit more pricey so i'm just gonna wait for a good trade good deals and stuff like that on probably x2 and x3 and seven soccer um if I'm fortunate to get collect those complete in box, that'd be awesome. Okay, so running out of low on time. So I picked these up two days ago. Um, Luigi's Mansion. I paid full price for it. Not full price. It's about thirty. I got it for twenty five on offer up. So this is a good, you know, it's a solid game. I cannot find one for the life of me just like complete without having to pay so I mean this is great I mean for Luigi's Mansion I, I don't mind and I'll stop I think this is one game that I really want to play uh, yeah it's great so I went out to disc replay uh, one of the bigger stores in Indiana and uh, picked up two games one is Blackstone Magic and Steel for 10 bucks it doesn't have the manual but I just like the cover art, and hopefully it's a fun game. But Xbox didn't have many RPGs and strategy guides, so it was just awesome to have this. And uh, this is about a $110, $120 game, and I saw it for $74.99, and I had to get it. it it's Blood Will Tell, and Metal Jesus uh, and uh, Radical Reggie talk about this game a lot. It's, it's just this game about the samurai who lost all his senses and has to fight through and regain all his senses by defeating enemies so i'm excited that i picked this up for 75. um one of my friends wanted to trade me 110 dollars worth of credit so i feel like i got this game for 30 dollars cheaper so i think that's a good deal and uh pretty awesome okay and i have one more trade that went down so i had uh i had a gamecube lot uh, with four controllers and um, Super Smash Melee for the GameCube, and um, I posted on offer up for a hundred. Um, some guy wanted to trade me uh, a Super Nintendo bundle, for, and he he would give me twenty bucks. So I'll show you the Super Nintendo. It's not your regular Super Nintendo. It was a mini. So I got a mini, and it, it came with two controllers. Here's one of them. I had the other one, and the wires as well and some games I don't have so I, I'll be adding to my collection and flipping because I have a Super Mario World 
But uh, Darius Twin, I did not own. Um, Super, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I owned this when I was a kid, but I don't ha have my current, my old copy anymore. So it was great to see this one. Nicole Mance's World Championship. I don't own, I don't believe I own this. I have to check. Lion King, I do own. International, I believe this is FIFA International Soccer. And I own so many copies of Speedy Gonzales, or I've seen them, but the la most of the labels are like this. I don't know if that was just the... I have not seen a clean Speedy Gonzales copy for some reason. And I've seen like three or four of these already. And then Pac-Man 2, I do not own this either. So, I think for, uh, basically, they said 80 bucks for this, and then they gave me 20 So, I think that was an awesome deal, especially for a mini. Like, you rarely see them, and they're so, like, really... You don't have to worry about ejecting, and it's just well made. I um, might be keeping this and flipping my Super Nintendo, actually. Alright. So I don't know how much time I have left, but I will present with you my um, epic score. So I'll t start telling you this story. I was, uh, you know, middle garage sailing, um, and, you know, on the high whistle, because uh, the place I went to, no one was... You know, it was a community cell posted because of the rain. A lot of people got scared. So again, I was going back home. I hit my GPS button and uh, I ended up going to random community uh, garage sales. And this one community, uh, I did get the second best score there as well. This one community was just selling uh, uh, stuff and they weren't scared or anything. The weather kind of got better as well. So father and son combo. Father, um, Kid was about five, like I would say four or five, and um, maybe six, and the dad was with him, and he had a bunch of games on the table, like Wii U, Wii, uh, PS3, uh, Xbox One, and like, you know, I was like, how much for your games? And he was just like, ask me, son, how much for the games? And the son's like, a dollar a piece, and I was like, oh, interesting. Um, and then I saw, not only that, I saw Wii U. On the floor, and I'm like, how much for that? And I'll tell you everything. I'm gonna show you everything right now. And I was just in shock to see all this stuff and for the price I got it for. So I'll just. <laughs> I got Ghost Recon 2 for the Xbox, and it came with Fight Club, uh, I guess the, the movie, the DVD, which is awesome. Halo 2, complete. Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, complete. From Russia with Love, 007, complete. I don't own From Russia with Love or like, uh, I think Ghost Recon 2, so I don't own that. Down to the pile. Wii Sports Resort. Race Rama. Zelda Twilight Princess. I'll go quick because I don't know how much uh, time I have left. Super Wii Br Brothers U. It's just awesome to see. Awesome. Mario Kart Wii will sell any day. Uh, I, so many, I had so many copies of this. And this is a really clean copy too, I believe. It's not bad. It's just awesome. Wii Sports. Is it even in there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Minecraft Story Mode. I do not own this. And I, this, I was so lost, happy I saw that too. Gears of War Ultimate Edition with a rare replay. So the rare replay includes Conker's Bad Fur Day. And they said like, like you'll have the Conker's Bad Fur Day on this and you'll never have to bust out your N64 just to play Conker's Bad Fur Day. And um, I don't own it. I don't want to have to spend like $100 on Conker's. Although I found a deal for 60 I just, you know, it's awesome to have this. Awesome. Titanfall 2. And I was jittery, I swear. This was my best score of the coming summer season, so hopefully that is a sign of good things to come. Battlefield 3. Goldeneye Reloaded. I do not own this. Homefront, I do not own this. Plants vs. Zombies. I'm surprised. I'm looking on price charting. This um, is selling for like 20 bucks, which is awesome. Transformers War for Cybertron. That's complete. Red Dead Redemption, I've seen a million copies of this game. And Cars 2, which is 
Cards 2 is about a 15 hour game itself. I was pretty surprised about that. Um, and this is where it starts getting... Uh, came with a bunch of cables and stuff and uh, Xbox uh, One controller charger and this is awesome. I need one of these. I do have two controllers. Um, this is where it got really interesting. So, uh, four Wii U games. Wii U Infinity. Super Mario World 3D World. Batman 2. And the new Super Mario Brothers U plus the Luigi U. I got four Wii controllers. A Wii U system. And the gamepad. And I spent a whopping, just for this lot alone, $25. Can you imagine this? And I um, price charted everything, and I'm just leaning and guesstimate $25 for $400 worth of stuff. My gosh, I was. I was shitting bricks until the car trying to keep a straight face because they were glad to give this stuff away. And like, I was like, why is he selling all this stuff? Oh, he just plays Xbox One now. And um, the dad was just like, they were just happy to get rid of it. Probably it was just sitting there. And I was just like, all right, I'll take it. So I got four controllers, three um, Wii, Wii wheels, which is awesome for Mario Kart. I could bundle that up too. Um, yeah, just excited, dude. Alright, so that's all I have for now. I'm going to go flea marketing in a few hours, and there's another yard sale this weekend. So hopefully, um, I definitely recoup my money. <coughs> I also got um, a CRT TV for 15 bucks to play those old school like NES and Super Nintendo games on so I could use my light gun. And I did get a bike, so I was pretty excited. Really good. It went from bad day to a really good day. That... This score made it all worthwhile. I mean, it just goes to show you, perseverance pays off. So just keep going at it, you guys. Um, you know, the, it's it's really out there. All right, guys, Red to Star Man, I went five out. Please like and subscribe and page. I don't have a lot of viewers. I'll try to post as soon as I can when I find stuff. I just want to gather a lot more material to be able to show to you guys. Um, please like or subscribe. Uh, and comment down below, um, what is, what is the game you're currently playing now, or is it, uh, you know, is it something you like playing, or the genre, uh, does it challenge you, please, uh, comment below, and I'll see you guys probably next week. Alright, Retro Starman 915, out!